the 12, I'm trying to bust the clock to drive my red flow. I get in that zone, I get the call and near the dark mode. Load the fence. Oh, here you see me getting ready, and then I looked out at the view. And then we went to the gym to check out the gym. It was okay, nothing special. Somehow we ended up at the bay or seaport or whatever it's called. Then we was looking for a restaurant. We couldn't find a restaurant, so we went to a random Mexican place. But this was really nice, so I'm gonna just let y'all look at that. On our walk back to the hotel, we found this cute little park and they had like games and I guess beanbag toss. So then I went back to the hotel and I practiced. We walked over to the check-in. This event right here was the Glow Fest. It was basically an introduction. It was really nice and decorated. It was like a little concert. I walked through the thing and got my pictures taken. Just for life in general is once you found what you love and what you what you believe in, commit to it and, and give yourself to it and really um, go all in because that's how you reach those those peaks. Inclusion. There are days I feel like one, like only, a lonely blossom in a briar patch of broken promises. But hey, I've always been a thorn in the side of injustice. Disruptive, talkative, a distraction, with a passion that transcends the confines of my own consciousness. Been exceptional individuals who have left an indelible mark on the civil rights movement. And a lot of them have been right from here. Okay, so here was us on a dance floor. We were all dancing. This was the first time everybody met each other. And it was competition day. So it's competition day and I'm wearing this outfit again because I have like three different outfits, but I just something about this one just gives me my confidence and I need that right now because I'm so nervous, but I know that God's gonna help me through it. So I'm not gonna obsess about it. But y'all gonna practice and Pray that I got everything down packed. So I'll be back. Okay, so as you see right here, I was waiting for the competition to start, and it was a beautiful view. Then they took me down to the STEM garden, which was my competition was photography. It was decorated really nicely, and then my images ended up being first on the wall. And this was a cute advertisement. Then I got dressed for my poetry competition. After I competed, I had a break, so we walked to the yard house. was Friday the day after competition and I just went down to look at all of the pieces because they opened up the gallery and it was just so amazing like these people are so talented but this one right here had to be one of my favorites because like just look at it and here's my section so this is what I did and submitted to the competition so yeah just take a look at that this we just went to the competition looked around at all of the vendors and they was giving out free headshots free books it was basically free everything and i loved it here this was the culinary tasting from the culinary kids so we tried all of our food my favorite was the chicken and ochi and the mushroom soup and i don't even like mushrooms so me being always hungry i wanted to go to shake shack and there's a little altercation but you know i had to edit that part out but I really like Boston, like, it's like a mini New York to me, I like it. The award ceremony, so I was overdressed, I missed the memo on the dress code, but that's okay. And they have one of my favorite actors out there, like, I really felt like I was at, like, the BT Awards. Like, just look at it, y'all. They had all of the actors out here. And also, Kamala Harris spoke 
at the event as well and they had us in there for like four hours waiting for her to give a 15 minute speech thank you and this right here just speaks for itself like just listen to it thank you for having a roof over my head thank you for having me um be able to eat each and every day um thank you for having the chat here as long as along with so after all that i went to this party or whatever and i'm thinking i was at a party for everybody but no i was at the old people party and all of the youth were at the y2k party i was so upset when i found out but it's okay Okay, this is like day three or four and they had some art and activism people come out to talk to us about how we can express ourselves through our art okay, this is day four five we went back to our house because it was my mom's friend's birthday miss cynthia she came out to support me and it was her birthday so you know we went back to our house and the food was pretty good then after that we went to lucky strike and they bought all like they rented out the whole place like everything was free they had food and everything so yeah it was a good experience and that's a wrap of my boston trip